In this lecture, we are discussing how to place automatic dimensions on a floor plan. So I will start by doing away with the existing dimensions that I have. So I will activate this dimension tool, then control A on the keyboard to select those dimensions and I will delete them. We will also choose these types of dimensions, still delete them and delete any other type of a dimension that is uh, including that. Then the very first option or the first step is to the first step is to activate the wall tool. This is accessed under design or design textural tools. We have the wall tool here. Click on it to activate it. And when the wall tool is activated, we select all walls by control A on our keyboard. That is if you are using Windows. So as you can see, we have all walls selected. So with the walls selected. We, we go to the document menu, which is here, the document, click on that, and under documenting tools, under document, we have, so document annotation, then under annotation, we have automatic dimensioning. So under annotation here, we have automatic dimensioning, so select the first option, we only have two options here, we have exterior dimensioning and interior dimensioning. Exterior dimensioning is going to give us dimensions to of, of the exterior faces of this wall and the interior one is going to give us interior dimensions just as the name suggests so click on exterior dimension and you will have this pop-up that says automatic dimensioning these are the settings that you need to have in place make sure you have a selected overall dimension dimension external geometry dimension structures and dimension opening so these these descriptions that you can see here are represented in this graphical form that is provided here. So in case in case you are wondering, the overall dimension is going to give us the total length from this face to this face. And the second one is going to give us uh, distances between specific points as ACCAD is going to determine as ACCAD is going to determine them. So under dimension under dimension openings we should select opening endpoints. Then for doors, we will dimension the wall all size. For windows, we'll dimension the wall all size. So this is set as that. And the dimension walls by, let's choose to dimension walls by the outer, outer faces. And we have an option for specifying the distance between dimension lines. Initially, this is set as 500 millimeters. So this is the distance, this is the spacing between one dimension line, between one dimension line and another. So let's start, let, let's start with, with 500, then we'll see how that looks on plan, whether we need to adjust it or we can still use it the way it is. So we have also another option here for placing dimensions on the four sides of the plan. For a start, we will leave this unchecked, then click OK. So when that when that is done, we come to our floor plan here. And then we choose one point, which is uh, an intersection between two walls, most preferred, or rather just an external face of a wall like this. So click here and move there. Then move this armor cursor towards this side and click. So when you click, you get these dimensions that, that have uh, been automatically calculated by ACCAD. So we have the first dimension line. So let me select it so that you can see. This is the very first dimension line and this is giving us um, this is giving us the so this is the first dimension line that I have selected and it is showing us the sizes of openings. The next dimension line is showing us the thicknesses of the all elements that we have placed for our project. Then the next is giving us distances between other dimensions, dimensions between uh, the intersection points of these walls. That is the external inter the, uh, the intersection of the external faces of the various walls that we have. Then the final dimension here is giving us the overall dimension. That is from the farthest end that is the farthest uh, wall end and that is the, the exterior wall end to the exterior surface of the other wall which is this dimension that has been, has been uh, placed here. So if you are wondering how we've been able to achieve 
these dimensions in terms of uh, in terms of millimeters you remember in our in our very first lectures we looked at how to set a dimensioning units and that was under that was under options then we had project preferences and we add this here dimension so when that is clicked you see we have options for having these different types of dimensions that are here and we chose to have millimeters there so under linear dimensions we have the units as millimeters with zero decimal places so that's that's how we we manage to do that so click ok so that's how to place manual dimensions on a plan but we've only been able to place these dimensions on one side of, of the plan so let's select these and delete them then we'll repeat the same procedure that we had followed initially to place place manual to place uh, automatic dimensions on both sides of this plan so we activate the wall tool by going uh, to the design menu then under architectural tools we select the wall then control a on your keyboard that is going to select all walls and when all walls are selected we now navigate to the document menu so under document we have here annotation options we have annotation option and uh, annotation we have this option for automatic dimensioning then when you move further we have this option for exterior dimensioning that is what i want us to select so click on it then you will see this prompt will make sure you have uh, selected all these buttons all these uh, options you have uh, this selected that is opening endpoints as an option and have this as a wall size and wall size for both the doors and the windows we are dimensioning the walls by the outer surfaces and this time let's let us uh, specify the distance between the dimension lines as let's say six six hundred so that we have we have a bigger spacing between uh, these lines then we check this where we are placing dimensions on four sides check that then click ok so when that is uh, set so we only need to we only need to to identify some external face of a wall like this click on it that is uh, set then move this cursor like uh, hammer like cursor to this uh, to that direction until you have reached where you want that dimension the first dimension line to to be placed then click and you will have these dimensions placed on both sides on the four sides of, of your plan as that so you can see in this uh, eastern elevation side we have these dimensions we have dimensions on the other side so both all all the four dimension all the four sides of the plan now have the have the necessary dimensions in place so these dimensions are automatically calculated by archicad so that's why we have been able to do that very fast without going through the long way of having the dimensions done manually let's say we want to customize the appearance of these lines a font for for these numbers that are here so what we do we activate the dimensioning we activate the dimension uh, tool control a on our keyboard to select all dimensions like that then you open the setting dialog for the walls for the wall tool so what we do is we let's make sure that uh, everything is unselected then activate the dimension tool control a on your keyboard you're going to select all dimensions then we'll uh, open the settings dialog for the dimension then we'll have dimension settings here the first settings are uh, the dimension type and under dimension type we have this linear method selected we have this type of marker you can be able to choose between these uh, marker types that are that are provided here let's say we want to use this one click on that it is going to reflect there this is the way we want to extend the witness lines and we have custom height for witness line we have the pens for these markers and we have the pen for the dimension line so for this let's say we click on this marker pen we'll have these options here let's say i want to have this as a uh, as pen 48 then i will choose this to i'll change that to pen 88 that way then uh, when we are done with dimension settings close that go to the text style here you'll be able to specify the font type the font size and the the font size and then the dimension text pen so we start with the font type click on this 
and this is the favorite one that I want to use. Let's see if you can see. I have this. Click on that to select it. Get back here under uh, under dimension text pen. I will have pen number six. And then this is uh, this is the font size. I'll leave it as two millimeter. We'll have this checked as the the, the, the dimension and the, the dimension um, units and dimensioning value is going to be placed above the line. We can choose to have either opaque. Or just leave it at the way it is. Close the text style. We go to marker and witness line options. Here we can control things like the marker size in terms of millimeters. And we can control the witness line length. And a pointer. We don't have a pointer for the type of dimension that we have activated. That we have placed. But still here you are able to specify the line type and the pen. The line pen. For the pointer if you have any if we have options for dimension details and the dimension details we have we can choose to display the height of openings as well that is where we have uh, doors and windows we can choose to have automatically in dimension automatic dimensions for the walls and slabs and they are going to we can choose whether we want to have the outer surfaces the core surfaces or the reference lines selected so those are the settings we have options for properties and the properties we have renovation status and the renovation filter this is where we can be able to select whether we want to show these elements on different types of the plants that are available here so when you are done with those settings just click ok here and then you will see the, the the customizations that you have done will be reflected here so that is it this is the, these are the changes that we have made and you can see have been affected on our plan so that's how to place automatic dimensions on a floor plan